Apple's been having a stellar year, reaching its highest third quarterly sales volumes ever. It's been helped by brisk business in markets like Indonesia, where there's been a surge in demand for smartphones. Analysts were expecting the iPhone 16 to propel shipments. But the block on its latest model means people in Indonesia will need to wait longer before they can get their hands on one. I think a lot of fans is already looking forward to again, you know, experience it is, uh, yeah, as in the first hand, uh, looking at it and see uh, what's the improvement. It's quite disappointing. Usually nowadays, I mean, in this time of month, we already get like the, the promotion, right? Oh, iPhone is coming soon and then you can order it here. Indonesia requires locally sold smartphones to contain 40% local components. Alternatively, companies can invest in other initiatives like research and development or applications. Authorities say Apple is about $15 million shy and are refusing to renew its component certification. Its recent success may have been part of the problem. I think there is probably some lack of clarity if we look at, you know, when these uh, guidelines were set, that was at a time when Apple was importing far lesser iPhones into the Indonesian market. The move could drive some consumers to purchase the newest model overseas. The cheapest iPhone 16 costs $994 here in Singapore if you buy it from an Apple store, but buyers in Indonesia need to fork out an additional $155 for the same phone because of import fees imposed by the country. Earlier this year, Apple CEO Tim Cook announced plans to open a fourth Apple Academy in Indonesia. The company's already invested about $100 million in such facilities, but it may need a more adaptable solution to meet local requirements. I think it's a market which none of these tech companies can afford to ignore its largest market in Southeast Asia. So uh, they are definitely very focused in uh, you know, being present. The block comes as governments around the world are increasingly taking steps to curb big tech. Last month, Brazil's Supreme Court banned the platform X because of a dispute about disinformation. Indonesia's also recently banned Chinese shopping platform Timu to prevent cheap products flooding its market. Patrick Falk, Al Jazeera, Singapore. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.